I was in one of the town camps here yesterday, speaking to women there, and, and they were adamant about two things. One, that the violence had gotten worse, yep. as you've been saying, but two, that they wanted those bans back in place. Is, is that the same feedback that you've been hearing when you talk to those people? Yes. And I did say the other day through the media that I think that anyone who thinks that the level of violence against Aboriginal women uh, in Central Australia is OK, I just think it's appalling and we need to... It's a national shame. And we shouldn't be what looking at women subjected to the levels of violence that we've seen here in Alice Springs. Um, but any sort of violence right throughout the Northern Territory, and I know for my electorate of Lingiari, which is nearly the whole of the Northern Territory, I will continue to advocate for everybody and to make sure that both governments, both in the Territory but also federally, we get the resources in to be able to you know, resolve some of these long-standing issues. Uh, just finally, to go back to the issues you're talking about in the context of, of The Voice, uh, uh, we know that the, the Karma Langton uh, report uh, has been put out there. That's what the Prime Minister's pointed to when he's yeah. talked about detail on The Voice. He talks about equal gender representation on The Voice. Should there be equal gender representation on the Aboriginal voice to Parliament? Yes, I think that women need to be given a voice. Um, it, it's been interesting, before I went into politics I was working for one of the biggest land councils in the Northern Territory. We are still not seeing the female representation at an equal level on land councils that we should be. Now, women play an important role in terms of the culture and the well-being of communities. It is time for people to recognise that and I think that if we look at the voice and how that makeup is going forward I think women of the of the territory deserve to have a platform and a voice in that process. Marion thanks so much for your time. Thank you Matt.